Object 14. Scarabax. Scarabax are small, mysterious sculptures of beetles made out of dark lapis. Description. Scarabax are crude, dung-shaped be dung beetle-shaped figurines carved on what superficially resembles lapis lazuli, but in a much darker shade of blue. They can be roughly between 5 to 15 centimeters in size. They are also painted over using white paint, either to draw details on the sculpture, or rather written as a set of hieroglyphs on the base, usually reading a quick prayer to the Egyptian god Kepri. Footnote. Kepri is the ancient Egyptian god of the dawn, usually represented as a dung beetle and along or as the sun god Ra. These objects do not seem to have a definite origin, but are rather, rather found on corpses of the lost faction known as the Dynasty of the New Sun. It is to note that the usage of these talismans by an outsider is a grave offense to said faction. Properties Unlike regular scarab carvings, footnote, scarabs are amulets of ancient Egypt depicting dung beetles, used as personal talismans, and have become one of the most common relics of ancient Egypt. Scarabacks are able to animate themselves. If the prayer on the base is whispered to the object, the beetle will spread its wings, make a loud droning noise, and begin to emit blue light for up to a minute. A simple thank you in any language is enough to make the scareback revert back to its inanimate state for two hours, becoming unusable for the duration of said time. An entity may also be able to turn this object into its passive mode, although how exactly it is done is currently unknown. While active, scareback light seems to be able to stun most entities that prefer the dark and may also be able to temporarily blind humans if the environment is gloomy enough. In addition, the droning noise appears to be irritating to many dangerous entities, who will attempt to get away from the source of said noise. Uses Most travelers with these objects in their possession use their scarebacks as an entity repellent, as its light and noise are able to make even a smiler recoil back. Its low duration and high recharge time, however, does not make it very effective if its owner is in a highly populated hostile level. It has also been reported that members of the Lost are able to use these beetles as a form of communication. Lacking modern cell phones, the Scarebacks allow the Lost to transmit information between each other, even between levels, by tapping their beetle in a manner similar to Morse code with the receiver detecting droning matching the tapping. How two scarebacks can be paired in such a way is currently unknown to those outside said faction. It has also been rumored that certain odd-colored scarabacks may also be used as makeshift level keys, but these rumors have not been proven. <laughs>